Hi, I'm Lee Venus from the NC Choices Program at NC State University. In our last uh, video, we did a talk on how to pasture, do a pasture evaluation on finished animals, uh, and particularly a pasture raised beef. Um, this animal we have followed from that video to the meat locker. We're here at Cruise Meats, and this animal was harvested approximately one week ago. This animal is a Hereford Angus Cross steer that was raised on a fescue mix pasture, pretty basic for the Piedmont of North Carolina. And also supplemented with a little bit of grain. I think uh, it's maxed out, probably ranged between five and eight pounds of grain per day. As you can see, this animal has a decent finish on it. Notice the uniformity of the fat covering throughout the carcass, here across the shoulders, as we talked about in the video. Uh, looking at the blending from the shoulders and having enough fat that it goes in and the ribs are not visible. So you can see this good coverage. As we go up on the carcass, you can see the flank area having a good amount of fat coverage. And then moving in across the hip, some of it's been taken off during the skinning process, but you can tell there's a good covering of fat covering the hip area. And then here along the loins is especially important. So that during the dry aging process, this coat, nice covering of fat will actually protect the meat from drying out too much during the process. As I turn the animal around here, you'll notice the brisket, which is one of our points of uh, pasture evaluation, the nice thickness of fat to the brisket. This one, you can see it on both the outside and the inside. One other thing you'll notice is the good amount of interior fat deposited on this animal without being too much fat. We've got a good solid base of kidney fat on this animal and a nice covering of fat on the inside of the animal too. Once again, this is really important to have these good coverages of fat on the animal for the dry aging process. But once you dry age, this animal will be sitting here in the cooler losing moisture and without this fat cap, if it's too lean, that animal will actually lose more moisture and you'll end up with more trim loss during the processing process. This animal was approximately 600 pounds in February. Uh, we did not get an accurate lob weight on it. We estimated it to be just shy of a thousand pounds lob weight in the hub. And it dressed at 502 pounds. This is a little bit smaller than our conventional counterparts that may dress in the eight to 900 pound range for a heavily fed cow. But you can see that depending on the frame size of this one was probably smaller than a lot of your larger frame cattle and therefore it just had a lighter hanging weight but still had appropriate finish on it. So in conclusion, with this video series, it's really important that we have an understanding of how to evaluate these animals both on the hook and on the rail so that we can provide a quality, consistent product to our customers that's worthy of the premium of local needs.